Okay, I'm going to do two more things here real quick. One is I'm going to go back and rewatch that first scene because I missed like half the dialogue because that shit was hilarious. It's queued up at the beginning of the episode. You can do this with me. It's just going to be like, you know, three or four minutes just till we get to the end of the shenanigans. If you are watching it with me, we are going on one. Three, two, one. I had no idea what, what he was walking into. <laughs> Dumb ass. Here's the thing. Is there any chance he's actually a little interested in his sister? I don't think so. I don't get that vibe at all. But he needs to put her in check. And he needs to do it really... Put her in hard-ass check, right? You can't let her carry on like this. Somebody's going to walk in at some point. Or, you know, there are adults around, I assume, somewhere. There are adults paying the bills and owning these residences, right? I think he's living with his dad. She's living with her mom, I think, is the way it worked. No, maybe she's living with the dad because they said she kept the name. I don't know. I can't remember. But either way, like, one of these adults is going to walk in at some point. Then you're really in some shit because they're going to misinterpret everything, right? Shit, I did. This is some of the dialogue I wanted. Do you magically think apologizing makes it okay? Because I missed the fight, the specifics of the fight, right? I forgot that was the other thing I wanted to see. <laughs> when you see this, you need to close the door and leave. <laughs> I guess the first thing you do is go to the bathroom when you come in the house. That makes sense, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my... I lost my fuzzy thing in my headphones. I thought maybe it was on my chest, but, you know, it's gone. Incompetent. It's a Mickey Mouse operation right here. I wonder if there are spoilers in this. I'm actually going to watch it this time. I guess we've seen who the important people are by now. Like, if I had watched this for the first episode, I would know the brunette is important because they show her a lot. And uh, probably would think that his sister is important because they show her a lot too. <laughs> Here's the thing. The sister's probably the most conniving person on the show. So she's going to be a problem for Alia, right? Like that, But he's not interested in his sister. So that makes her less of a problem. But the sister can like do all kinds of shenanigans. Put people up to stuff. Get in the middle of them if somehow she gets pissed off. She actually is interested, which I'm not convinced she is. I think the sister's trolling him, right? Just trying to motivate him into getting in a relationship. That's what I think. But it's entirely possible with what she said after she left the room that she actually has interested, which would be very weird and very bad for him. It's all about her motivations. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah, right. She's playing a role. You little twerp. <laughs> busted yeah no I am not you can talk after you put on your clothes why are you looking around I don't think it was a few moments ago either by the way yeah yeah <laughs> I expected dumb but this is the dumbest <laughs> yeah. Otaka. What the hell is an Otaka? Fan service, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> with your whole ass out? Is that what you said? You can see it with your whole ass out? <laughs> Easy there for... <laughs> None of that happened. You're in your own head. You're a psycho. 
This is a good play by him, by the way. You're trying to uh, divert her. Real talk, when dealing with people who are kind of out there, like, crazy. <laughs> I was waiting for that delivery because I love how she emphasized, didn't you? <laughs> the boob goblin. Is you divert them. You you get them off track. Okay, this is when it starts getting calmer, so we'll stop with it. Um, you get them off track. You distract them. You don't, like, if if, you're, if they're asking you something, hey, can I move into your house or whatever, who knows? But they're asking something psychotic, right? And the answer is obviously no. You don't ever tell a crazy person just straight up no. You, you divert them. Distract them. Hey, you know, uh, Michael has a uh, an empty room over there, right? Or, you know, Johnny has a whole trailer behind his house that he's not using. You should ask him. You know, divert them. Give them a plan. Give them a, a, an action point, something they can do. Distract them. Do you know your pants are on fire? You know, whatever, right? Like, yeah. It's hard without specific details. It's hard to come up with anything specific. But that's always been my thing. Because growing up, I was around a lot of crazy people, right? Like I said, I lived on the streets for a little while. And there were a lot of people who were nuts. Like, completely nuts. And they'd get fixated on you, right? And it was always fun because, for me, I'm young and an idiot. You just distract them. You know? Like, that's the biggest thing. So, with her, like, you know, talking about, like, you know, hey, you know, that's a turnoff. You... You're putting something in her head where it's like, okay, this isn't going to work. When her doing these obvious things, like, you know, just the nakedness, the push and boundaries, when an adult can walk in and possibly catch a glimpse of some of this shit and really take it the wrong way. If you can get her off of that track and get her to try something else that's not so obvious when somebody walks in and they're just sitting there and maybe she's wearing shorts but no panties and she's trying to get him to sneak a peek, an adult isn't going to notice that. They'll notice her sitting there with a towel with her, her tits hanging out, right? So what he's doing there is he's trying to get her into a track. He's trying to say, this is lame. Try something more subtle that will greatly improve his life. Because <laughs> this, this is a major problem. All right, the other thing I was going to do, um, I heard a rumor that there is English now. So I want to check out a little bit of that. Yeah, it looks like the first three episodes are in English. Which is the one with the sister? I think it's the second one. So that's the one I want. By the way, this is what I was talking about earlier. I, it was already off this page. But this is her happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Alia's hiding behind the card because she's shy. The sister is definitely 100% not shy. And then the friend is just being sweet. She's, got it. she's the one holding up the candy. It looks like candy heart, right? Good shit. Okay, I hope we get the sister early. Because I don't want to do the whole episode. But I definitely want the scene where, you know, I want enough to hear the sister's voice, for sure. All right, so we're starting at the beginning. This is episode two, the English dub, and we are starting at the beginning. Three, two, one. Hey, you guys. Uh, I don't know. That's Yuki's voice? <laughs> By the way, we... interesting. It's going to take a minute to, for these voices to settle into my head. I don't know if I. I'm not convinced by his voice. <laughs> Is that Monopoly? I can't tell. But, like, I think Ali hasn't spoken Russian in the last two episodes. We need more Russian. Hey, man. Good shit. <laughs> Damn. Hateful. Hey, Russia is hot, by the way. <laughs> of course, I think all foreign languages are hot, so... 
<laughs> so we can't tell. In the English dub, we can't tell what she's saying. Because they put Russian, or they put Japanese subtitles, not American subtitles. English. <laughs> Psycho. I wish your hands worked as fast as your mouth. <laughs> yeah, his voice is adequate. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, I don't think she has spoken any Russian the last two episodes. Definitely not this one. I don't think the previous one either. They're slow playing it, right? I wonder how many episodes we're getting this season. Here, look it up real quick. <laughs> I like... For me, the sister's voice is going to be defined by the, the hospital scene or whatever when he's laying in bed and she's on top of him because there's a lot of ridiculous dialogue. I want to see how she does with that, right? Apparently it's a novel series. I wonder if by that they mean manga, right? Or if it's an actual novel with prose, you know? I don't really know how they classify things. It looks like we're getting 12 episodes. It's going to run in until September 18th. It's going to be a sad day. Because this is one of my favorite shows. So we're getting 12. We're at, we're at 5 right now, so... I predict he will find out, or she will find out he speaks Russian sometime in season two. It won't be the season finale of this season, I don't think. <laughs> Even the song is good. That's rare for me. Yeah, that's very scary. Yeah, I'm warming up to the president's voice, too. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> That's hot. Might as well. Tag along, friend. Yeah. You have no choice. Royal Fast. Yep, I'm getting the steak. We're awesome. <laughs> she is working. This. See, this is why I think she's working the romance angle. She knows who's sitting next to him. And she's hyping him up, right? This is when she started developing all her schemes. But you can't know for sure with this bitch. <laughs> he, he reminds me of... Uh, there's a, um, a comedian who used to be on Hollywood Squares. Is it Richard Dawson? His voice reminds me of that guy. <laughs> Buzz off. That's right. You heard me. Yeah. She's a great candidate. Look at her. Just all stony faced, right? You got a problem with that? <laughs> Cujo is reminding me too much of Cujo, the the Stephen King horror movie. <laughs> Cold as ice. It's got to be this episode, right? Am I crazy? Is that it for the sister?
Yeah, that, that was kind of uh, irritable. Yeah, kick mud and rocks. Was it the kids say ta ta for now, or is that 10 years ago? I think that was 10 years ago. T T A A. Very dismissive. There it is. There's her shoes. It, it is her. Okay. This is a reveal that the, the, it's her sister. It's her sister. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> She's reading a romance novel. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is a uh, manga, but it's in book form, novel form. So it's not prose is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, she's good. <laughs> oh yeah over the top vocal performance this is what I'm looking for <laughs> I'm going to have to rewatch all her episodes in English for sure <laughs> oh shit can't have that damn incest is wincest in other words, it's a win. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Psych. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> he really sounds like Richard Dawson. You're killing me. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> clearly <laughs> oh shit she did pay that off <laughs> oh shit okay that was what I was here for. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, I love the, the English dub. This will be something I have to rewatch in English in its entirety at some point. With, you know, with all the spare time I have. But I'm probably... Let me know if you like this at all. If there's anything you're getting out of this. And we can do this. It won't be like full episodes probably. But specific, you know, maybe specific scenes with uh, the sister... I wouldn't mind also getting the, the brunette's uh, voice. Her, her episode is the next one. So let me know if you like this for the next episode. The, the bonus content will be... Uh, I'll watch episode three. Up to where we can get the, some of the brunette's vocal performance. See if she's any good. So, But, you know, it all comes from what people want and what they don't want. So let me know. Take your interest, Dean and I don't socialize very much. We... We have very different tastes. I prefer museums, gourmet cuisine, legitimate stage. Dean likes bocce ball. <laughs> Pizza. And the pussycat theaters. 